Okay, we're back. And yeah, where we left off last time, I didn't have any music set up yet. So I was going to show that. And um, I think the, one of the other things I didn't quite explain in uh, my tutorial video a while back is that one of the Super Mario World graphics that came with the game is called Desert Night. And it was never featured in the original Super Mario World. It's actually an altered version of the regular night um, gra nighttime graphics for Super Mario World. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. There's actually a bunch of custom stuff that I pointed out in the last in my tutorial video from this game. I'm gonna put it back to um, Castle for now. Maybe I'll make it Castle too. Yeah, it looks a little cooler. Now, I'm um, about custom music. I have to go. No, that's not gonna work. <sighs> this, is good. this is gonna take a little while, so please be patient. I do have Windows Vista, which, as many of you know, has many flaws, especially in loading stuff. It lags like crazy. And. I have got a bunch of stuff in here. I don't know why. Okay, I got some music right here. Sonic the Hedgehog and Donkey Kong. Music I, was, I just downloaded so I could put it on the video. I, I didn't even download it, so... but. Extract it from YouTube video. I will go. No, I'm not gonna use the Sonic music actually. I already have some good music underneath the folder. I just have to find out the name for it. Um, See, so this is what I was talking about. Um, go to the Worlds folder. D these are all my levels and some of the custom music I've already put in there. I've got some new Super Mario Brothers music I can use for this. I've got Castle right there. I will right click that. See this This is the easiest way to get if you don't want to type in all the text you go to rename of the music file that you're wanting to use for a level and you go to copy the text uh, when you go to rename it then you go back to here um, go to music, go to that text box I was talking about, paste, then add .mp3 to the end, hit custom, and... Got custom music. Now, I'm going to add some more stuff to this level, because... I'm gonna, I already said I'm going to show how to ba make a basic level. Well, obviously I'm going to be able to make the whole, a really good level because uh, just the time limitations and everything. I don't want to make too many parts to this video. Um, maybe I'll, I'll show you how to add some saws. Like from Super Mario World. You can actually put them um, on going either vertical or horizontal or diagonal like um, in certain fortresses in Super Mario World by using the little platform things. Um, I have to get this set up right though. Put that on there. And now to make this part a little trickier, I can have a big crack in the middle there. And I'll put some lava. This is 
sound like a pretty challenging castle. Obviously not the hardest I've made, I've made many more, more difficult ones. Um, I'm going to make another huge lava pit there, where you actually have to spin jump across the, on a saw. Another saw there. Just put, probably put a halfway marker in there too. In Super Mario World, because the, actually that I've gotten the halfway markers to work over the last like few months or so. I, I never did figure out how to get them to work. I don't know why. You basically just put um, the background object uh, in for it, that background pieces, and then you go to uh, check under Super Mario World under the non-player characters or NPCs, put that in the bar, and then when I go and hit it, when I'm testing the level, then I go to test the level again, and after I die, I'll start there. So I'm going to test the level now. I'm using a lot of Super Mario World elements, but oh well. Super Mario World's an awesome game, so. Okay. Holy crap. No! But, if I just want to test that part out, I can just go like this. Place Mario right there. It's kind of like cheating, but who cares? Oh, damn. I don't know why I didn't put that in any of my other, other levels? Well, I didn't put it in many of them. Pass that right now, but I can put a boss fight in, which I'm gonna do now. Quickly, uh, put in a little bit more. So this is a bit, this is the shortest castle ever made. Probably not, but still pretty close. I'm going to show you how to put a simple warp in. Okay, so door warp. You go to warps, you go to door, and, and it should automatically select up for entrance and exit, because you usually press up to go into the doors. I've got it selected as entrance. I'll put it to warp one. Put the entrance there. Go to the blank screen here, go to exit, place the exit, and I've got to make the boss room still. So put that in, that, I'll put, I'll have Ludwig as the boss. Just extend that a little bit.
baby. Oh, no. Okay. It's right there. Right there. I have Ludwig Koopa. Oh, wait, no. I can't have him in there. Because, um... You can't, with certain bosses, you can set it so then once you beat them, the level's done and it automatically finishes the level for you, but he's one of the ones that if you beat him, nothing happens, so I'm going to have to put something else in, and I'm also going to have to probably make a part three of this, but I can at least put, I'll put Boom Boom in, I'll put two Boom Booms in. I know, I've always, I've always thought he had a weird name. Boom boom, like, um, where did that go? Okay, right there. I'll put three boom booms in. Two, and I'll have a third one up there on the platform. I'll have to throw some random platforms in here just to make it harder. Why I'm putting that much in there? There. Okay. See you guys next time.